Missions means to me answering why I'm a missionary. And I think it's very important to search your heart and to consistently be connecting and asking and seeking the Holy Spirit um, for what it is that, like, wake up in the morning, what, what do you have for me today? This is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. And, and okay, God, what you got for me? That's what missions means to me. Some of the answers when I sit and ask myself, what does it mean? Why am I a missionary? I found something good. I've got it good. Uh, this Jesus thing, I'm, I'm sold out. Like, this is the way, this is, this is what's going on, and this is amazing, and I can't keep this to myself. That's why I'm a missionary. I want you to have this too. This is, this is the good stuff. I'm a missionary because I've been invested in and trained and given the resources and education to be able to do things that a lot of people can't. And I can do, I do my job really well. The workers are few. I'm a missionary because there are people um, who need to receive different things. And there are people who need to give. Giving, um, I think, is often underrated, seen as something that's obligatory, but it's something that we need for our souls. We need to give and we need to receive um, on both sides. And being a missionary, I feel like part of my job is connecting, connecting those people, the people who need to give and the people who need to receive. And it's so powerful. I'm a missionary because it makes me happy. It's my passion, it's my joy. I love Brazil. God gave me this love that I do not understand. Like, how do you love a country? <laughs> but God did that and he put that in my heart. I'm also missionary because I need to learn how to walk in grace and not in control. I'm a missionary because God has a goal for my life and that goal is making me look like his son, Jesus Christ. And he knows what I need to do that, to have that sanctification process. And for me, what I need to do that is being a missionary. And God has me here because he's working in my life and he's doing that in my life. And he is completing his mission in me. Missions is constantly connecting with God and refining what your mission is and how to do that practically. Growing up, I realized that my mission was to love other people especially children and especially at-risk children. So like that became clear that some form of that would be my core goal, like why God had created me, like what God wanted to do, uh, how God was reflected in me personally uh, as Rachel Ferguson in this world. So when I came to Brazil, I did that through teaching English. Uh, and that was the practical way that I lived out loving people, especially children and especially at-risk children. Um, and uh, then I became the coordinator of Living Stones. And uh, it's like something, like I base, I worked with the thing, something that was a need, but I created my own job description, really. Like, and it completed my core, my, my core mission completely. And I feel so blessed because that doesn't happen for everyone. When I got married, I had a shift in, in my core mission. My core mission, um, which had been always love God, um, especially children, especially at-risk children, uh, was, was expanded because my mission was to serve and to love my husband now as well. So it's like this shift. And then I became a mom. So now it's also these two beautiful girls um, that are my mission um, and uh, as any mother will tell you this is not a addition process you know it's not that here's my core mission and then I'm adding things on top and I'm just getting weighed down and boggled down no it's a multiplication you don't have to say oh my gosh another child I have to love darn it no because your love and your life is somehow multiplied it's like it's an amazing miracle like Moms with lots more kids will tell you. I don't, I don't know. I only got two. But God multiplies this and he multiplies how, so it's like this past five years has been like a stretching, amplifying, I would say, of, of, my, of my mission, of my core mission. And it's been really beautiful and I'm still learning. So I'll tell you, I'll tell you after I figure that one out. So, but practically speaking then, what I do changes. I do a lot more... Uh, dirty diapers. Yeah, that's part of my core mission now. Uh, potty training, 
uh, that's in there. A lot more dishes. Dishes are not only addition, it's also a multiplication. But so those are my core missions and what that looks like. In 2016, Kate and I realized that the part of our mission um, that was connecting different people and sharing what was going on here in Brazil with in the U.S., that the best way, the fastest way, the easiest way, the most effective way to do that was through missionary vlogging. And you're like, well, what is that? Well, we sort of invented it because, you know, necessity is the mother of invention. And so vlogging is video blogs. Um, so, you know, in the past, in missions, it, I remember growing up, it was the the missionary slideshow, and I I loved those. I'll tell you what, those those little chicking chicking and the missionary slideshow. Um, but you know that that doesn't work. To blogging, e-newsletters, we send out e-newsletters, and those things are all important. But m the medium that reaches people the quickest and the easiest today is short videos, and. Um, so we became missionary vloggers. A vlogger is someone who regularly puts videos on their YouTube channel. We put out a video every week, sometimes more. Actually, it's been three years. We have over 300 videos on our channel. We call ourselves Five Minutes of Fergie. So uh, Fergie for Ferguson. It could be baby pictures. It could be we had, uh, we went to one of the kids from Livingstone's birthday party and we had a, a a video about it you know um, uh, we talked to the kids about why they are uh, why they miss school that was one of my videos like just these short videos about random stuff that comes up like where's the library in Brazil I made a video about it you know and so uh, sharing our day-to-day -day life some of them are much more missions focused some of them are much more baby focused uh, <laughs> for grandma I call it grandma fodder um, but these videos uh, let people peek into our daily life, uh, which I feel like where missions is headed, supporters want to be more personally involved. They want to get to know you. Um, like the people who are praying for us, how are they going to pray for us if they only get an annual newsletter? Um, you know, if they're getting something every week and they're like, oh, oh, look at that. Jessica just hit her head. She's sick this week. Let me pray for that. Like, you know what's going on with our daily lives. And I think it's a super powerful tool in the next 10, 15 years. I think there'll be other people who do this. I, I hope so. A big part of missions is that our mission, refining our mission and connecting with God, it's because our roots are so deeply set in Jesus that when he says go, we're, we're going with, with him. Our roots aren't changing because our roots are not in this world. Our roots are not in a location. It's not, I mean, obviously we have our family and we are always connected to our family. We always visit our family and love our family, but we are not connected to ground. Um, and so God has called us to Brazil. Right now we are serving in Brazil. And if tomorrow we wake up and feel that God is calling us to Peru or God is calling us to, to Ethiopia, then that is what we will start working towards, where we will change our focus, where we will go. Missions is, is following Christ, where he calls us is, is following him.